It has been confirmed that the Cyber Showdown event will start on January 18th. What's going to be coming with that event and massive changes coming to the Halo Infinite store at the same time as well. Do you want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video about Halo. Today we're going to be covering a lot of information about the Cyber Showdown event and the store update that's been coming along with the Cyber Showdown event as well. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button as it really does help out the video and channel get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. If you want to update with everything going on with Halo, well make sure you tap subscribe. So Let's get right into the content here. So yesterday, the Halo channel released the Cyber Showdown teaser trailer coming out for us guys, confirming that the release date is January 18th. That's the upcoming Tuesday. Though the trailer didn't reveal a whole lot, but it revealed some new customization, which I wanted to break down for you guys real quick. Here in the trailer, as you can see, as you kind of zoomed into the Space Invaders version here, you can see how the player spawns in with a new armor special effect. This will be like the new kind of like tron kind of like cyberpunk style kind of spawn effect you'll probably have in the store which i've seen i haven't seen i've seen leaked images of the battle pass or the event pass i should say uh, coming with cyber showdown and nothing involving this thing right here this most likely will be part of the store which will get massive changes along with the cyber showdown event we'll get into that a little bit later you can see as we kind of continue spawning in here a brand new coating which is kind of like a dark deep pink kind of color which looks pretty sweet you see the mohawk in action which is kind of like a vibrant kind of like highlighted kind of changing color kind of thing which looks pretty cool along with a weapon coating as well on top of that so nothing too crazy teased in this picture right here but still cool to know that we're going to get some this customization within the cyber showdown event but there's some other parts as well lead multiplayer designer andrew witz also retweeted this saying new game modes coming in as well let us know what you think about it next week we actually have some leaked information about what those game modes might just be it's looking like we'll have a special playlist tied to Cyber Showdown, which would totally make sense. We have Slayer, King of the Hill, One Flag, and CTF as well. So King of the Hill being the new mode coming back into Halo Infinite. But I've also seen the mode of attrition being tied to Cyber Showdown as well. Attrition being a limited life Team Slayer mode where you can revive your teammates. We actually saw this in the Season 1 trailer as well in action and we haven't had a chance to play around with it at all. So my assumption is that this is the mode that he's talking about within this playlist that will have attrition come in which would be a really fun team elimination kind of mode coming into Halo Infinite. I've also seen leaks of the weekly rewards being like a visor color and a really cool armor coating as well. It's kind of like yellow, black, and gray kind of look to the whole thing. It definitely looks awesome. Though again, as soon as we get some concrete information about what's going to be in Cyber Showdown, I'll let you guys know, but we do know for sure it's starting on January 18th, and the leaks look like to be running until January 31st. Now some absolutely massive, and I mean massive, updates are coming to Halo Infinite Store. The head of design, Jerry Hook, Hit up Twitter right here, letting us know what the heck is going on with the store coming with the Cyber Showdown event as well. Saying, we've been monitoring the discussions on the shop bundles and pricing closely since launch. Using data and community feedback, we're going to begin rolling out changes to how we package and price items in Halo Infinite and it all starts next week. Starting Tuesday, the shop experience will vary week to week. We are focused on reducing pricing across the board, providing stronger value in our bundles, starting to put individual items outside of bundles and more. We will be trying new things throughout the rest of the season so that we can continue to learn and improve for the future. Please keep the feedback coming during this process and I hope to see you all next week for the Cyber Showdown event. Guys, they like they did it. They straight up actually like did it. They changing they're changing the store to where it's actually like way more user friendly. Cutting prices across the board is exactly what was needed for that Halo Infinite store. There were so many times looking at the store, I'm like, man, I honestly would buy that within the store if it just wasn't like $15, $20, $5 even as some items were a little too expensive for even that. Now, how much of a cut across the board? I mean, like technically 10% reduction is a cut across the board, but not exactly impactful. I hope that these cuts will be impactful to the experience of trying to purchase things within the store. And also I kind of hope that some of the previous items that were in the store come back at the lower price as well, like the Mr. Chief AI and things like that. 
though of course it would totally invalidate the people who paid that price for those older items so i don't expect them to come back i would like them to but i, I would hope three for three would do that but obviously that's just my personal opinion i can see how that'd be really unfair to people who did pay that price so but it also looks like we might be able to earn credits within halo infinite like every other shooter out there well, Jerry Hook replied to Twitter on saying this. So in a reply to the initial tweet, a Twitter user talked about saying, is there gonna be a way we can like earn credits within the game like every other first person shooter kind of free to play game out there and improve on customization because they promised millions of combinations, which we're certainly not experiencing right now. And Jerry Hook said, I think we need to do both. So another massive bomb drop right there. Like, are we literally gonna be able to earn credits within the multiplayer, which I think would alleviate a lot of pain that people are experiencing because 343 did state that a lot of the cosmetics are going to be earned through gameplay but we're certainly not experiencing that right now yeah you do earn cosmetics through gameplay from progressing through the battle pass but it doesn't really feel like that a whole lot because you have to pay into that it was kind of like a, a feeling that they kind of implied of play the game earn items within the game and that doesn't really feel like that for the free-to-play players it feels like for the free-to-play players at least like you're kind of just getting like basically nothing now i understand the paid players deserve to have more content i totally agree with that but you do need to at least give something to the free-to-play players which they basically have received nothing throughout the entirety of season one so far and it's quite interesting that jerry hook mentioned about looking at the data and community feedback that they're looking to cut prices and change up the bundles and things like that makes me think that possibly with like the metrics that they wanted to hit that they probably really weren't hitting them because of the pricing and the value that they were providing within the store that maybe they were kind of underperforming and they're thinking like well if you provide more content and at a lower price would see more people buying into things because me personally i've only bought into the past and bought one item that was like the eagle attachment to the assault rifle and that's about it I don't know what their metric of success would be for microtransactions per player if like buying one microtransaction is successful or having like an average of like two or three or four microtransactions per player being successful. Uh, we don't really know what their measure is, but I would assume from what I've seen online, there like definitely are those people who have paid into like basically everything. But for the most part, what I've seen is people utilizing Battle Pass, you know, received content and then just kind of sticking with that. I'm not seeing a whole lot of store microtransactions coming into the game, at least through my matchmaking games. So I'm assuming that the store is probably underperforming right now because of how steep the value is right now. But as soon as we get some Cyber Showdown content, guys, as soon as we get the reveal of what's happening with the stores, and if we do get some more progress on earning credits within the game, you guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. So if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.